In this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up to send a reorder email when your stock is low. So I have some fictitious products here. And um, so what I have in, in column D is I have the quantity. And then I have in, in column E, I have what's being ordered. Now, um, I just have this conditionally formatted. And how I did that is I just selected uh, the column and I went to um, simply on the home tab. I went to uh, conditional formatting and I say if it's um, less than um, less than five, then you're going to turn it red. Now, the conditional formatting doesn't make it doesn't make it any difference on the code. It's just so that it's hot. you can see what things are low. What I have here is I have this one is two and it, there's reorder is nothing. And this one is 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 one, but there's a reorder of five. So we don't need to put this on the reorder list. And then we also have um, uh, there's two here and there's nothing on the reorder list. And then there's four here and there's nothing. And there is five on the reorder list. This should end up with being two um, two things being sent to be reordered. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to my developer tab. I'm going to macros and I'm going to run reorder. And so now what it's done is it's taken the two items that need to be reordered and we're assuming that this is the purchasing department and um, this is the things that they need to reorder and they're sent to them. Now, um, we're assuming that the purchasing department has access to the sheet. So if, for example, um, they reordered this one yesterday. And so let's say after we sent the email. And so now if we run the reorder again, we should only have um, one, which is the two with nothing left on it. So let's go to macros and let's go to reorder and run this. And so now we just have the two. So let me show you how I did this. It's called reorder. So I've declared some values here. And now what I'm doing is I'm calling um, sheet one as my data sheet where the original information and sheet two is my report sheet. On my report sheet, I have uh, put the borders and the color so that it's, uh, it will copy this when it copies it to the email. The report sheet, the first thing that I do is I clear all the values contents. We start with the new sheet and then I select my data sheet, which is my inventory. Then I find the end row, which is the final row here. And then it goes from row two to final row. And then it looks for in the inventory, if there's less than five then, and then it, the next, second thing it checks is it makes sure that there, um, if the number that I reordered is less than five, then you will also, you'll go forward and then you will copy the range of cells that has this two conditions met. You're gonna select the report sheet, and then you're gonna paste the information um, on the report sheet. And then we're going back to the data sheet, which is the inventory sheet, and it keeps going until it comes to the end of the line. Now, with the report sheet that you've made, you set up um, an Outlook email. Um, and then, uh, then you find the end row on the report sheet. And then um, you set up the email. We I've put um, on the data sheet, I've just put in an email here and this is the purchasing department. So it's to whatever, um, whatever the email is there. And then the subject is reorder. And then the, the message is please reorder the following items in best regards. Um, and then I call the inspector email, get inspector, pay, set the page editor, inspect word editor. And that's so that we get the borders and the background color. And then what we do is we copy the, um, the data that's on the, the report sheet. Then we use the word editor to put the information on your Outlook. Then we can display it. And then um, if you wanted to send it, you would have the send without the, without the comment in front of it.
then we change this to nothing and X inspector to nothing and everything else to nothing. And so that is, I will of course include the code in the description of my video. Please subscribe.